All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is called an RS NOR latch, and this is sort of a, a step up in terms of logic gates. Um, it's a little more complex than what we've looked at so far because it's it's kind of a combination of, of multiple logic gates. Uh, now, an RS NOR latch is also called a memory cell, and the reason for that is it allows us to save the state of our input. And so what I mean by this is if we have a button, uh, when we press the button, it will supply power to a redstone wire but only for the duration that the button is actually pressed. So you can see when I press it, it uh, supplies power, and then as soon as the button pops up, the power shuts off from there. Now with an RS NOR latch, we are able to press a button and then save the state of, of that button press. So when I press the button on the front of our RS NOR latch here, you can see I've turned on this redstone wire, and it stays on uh, as long as I want, even though this button is, is no longer being pressed. The only way to turn this off is to come over here and press the reset button, which will turn off uh, our original output right here. And you can see uh, it also has an inverse output that comes on. So press the button, this output comes on, the inverse output shuts off. When I press the other button, the inverse output comes on and the original output turns off. Now I think the best way to kind of understand it is just to build one and use it. So that's what we'll do. Earlier you may remember we had a, a door uh, that when we were specifically using it with the AND gate. Uh, when I open the door using our button, it'll open but only stays on very briefly. So it can be kind of hard to make it through that door before it closes. Now with an RS NOR latch, we can uh, kind of solve that problem. So if I run uh, an output, uh, or wire from our, our first output here, I will uh, run it over to where we will build our RS NOR latch. And so an RS NOR latch, uh, I said it was kind of a combination of two different logic gates, and it's really a combination of two not gates. So here's the first not gate and here's the second not gate. So uh, once we plug our input into the first not gate, uh, I will run a line of redstone out of that not gate and plug it into our second one. And then from the second one I will run a line out and plug it back into the first one. So that makes it kind of a little loop here. So what happens is when I press my button will supply power to the first NOT gate, which will cause this torch on the front of it to turn off. So then this redstone wire will turn off. And once that redstone wire stops supplying power to this torch, this torch will come on, which will then supply power back to our first torch. So even though our uh, initial button is no longer supplying power, the second NOT gate here will be supplying power back to our first uh, torch here and will allow us to maintain that state. So then from here we can just run the output to our door, so right off of this torch into the door. And then I will run our second input from the wooden pressure plate here into the back of our second NOT gate right here. And this will act as the reset for our NOT gate. So let's test it out. Now when I push the button we can see that the output turns on and our door is held open. So I can pass through the door and as soon as I step on this wooden pressure plate, our door closes. So just like that. Now one thing you may notice is when I step on my wooden button again, it's no longer opening uh, from this side. And that's because this torch is already turned off. So supplying power to this torch isn't going to do anything. It's not going to change that state. The only way to reset things is to uh, press the front button again. And so the question is uh, then how do we get out of our door? Now um, we could certainly do this in a more complex way with uh, perhaps another RS NOR latch or maybe even an implies gate or something. But kind of uh, the cheap trick I have is generally your uh, wooden pressure plate is going to be close enough to the door that you don't have any problem making it through uh, just from pressing this button. So if we run a line of redstone directly from the wooden plate to the door, we'll generally have enough time that we can make it through the door without uh, adding in a second RS NOR latch to, to hold it open. So now uh, 
this is kind of our working Arsnor latch with the door here. And so you can use that uh, on all your, your various uh, buildings and stuff like that. But uh, the RS Norlatch is, is kind of definitely the, the building block for most of the more advanced circuits uh, and certainly for our four track changer we're going to be building. So uh, kind of review this, uh, build a couple of them and make sure you have a pretty good understanding of, of what the RS Norlatch does before you try to take on the, uh, the four track changer.